Good Thursday morning, everybody. Chris Allen with your weather podcast for this August 14th. Good looking stuff out there. Yesterday was oh so delightful. Here in the middle of August, low humidity levels, a high of only 82 degrees yesterday afternoon. That's seven degrees below the average of 89. 59 was our 24 hour low. That's 8 degrees below the average of 67 for the day. And one year ago, we had a high of 83 and a low of 66. Almost uh, the same kind of day last year on that day in August in 2013. Of course, no rainfall past 24 hours. We're holding at 4.6 inches of rain for the month of August, which is a a 3.3 inch surplus. And our year-to-date deficit is right around two inches, a little bit over two inches below normal. But I think we're okay for a few days. We do see some unsettled weather headed this way for the weekend. It's not going to be a washout. And um, right now it doesn't appear to be the heavy rains that we received last Saturday. And then again on Monday when we had the uh, record-setting rainfall. But uh, we will see some scattered showers and a few thunderstorms as we get on into the weekend. Today, though, uh, mostly sunny, mix of sun and clouds. There is a a little weak system, a little upper-level wave that is moving through north and northeastern Kentucky as we speak. In fact, up around the uh, metro Cincinnati area, Newport, Covington, and then over toward Ashland, Kentucky, There are some clouds and even a little bit of light rain showing up this morning. Now that little feature is going to affect mostly northeastern and eastern Kentucky. We may see a few clouds coming from that feature, but I don't think we'll see any rain from that. So we'll go with uh, clouds and sunshine and 85 for today. Just a few degrees warmer than yesterday and uh, humidity level still in check. Tonight, partly cloudy, cool, low of 61. For Friday, uh, only warming up to 86 and mostly sunny. The uh, humidity levels begin to go up on Saturday. That's when we'll see a mostly sunny day and a high of 89 and around 90 for Sunday. And that's when we'll begin to see uh, the chance of showers going up. And as a series of disturbances, one after, the, one after the other, start to move into the region, well, we're going to have to pepper in, you know, 30% chance of a shower on Sunday around 90. Monday, a 40% chance of scattered showers and a few thunderstorms, 91. In fact, we keep it 91 again for Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. Yes, it'll be warm and muggy each and every day. And we're going to keep a 30% chance of scattered showers in the forecast both Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. A little aside here, and since this is a podcast, and, you know, sometimes uh, I think those of you that have listened here long enough, you've heard me talk about the reason, one of the reasons why I started a podcast is because I miss doing radio. See, I was, I was in radio before I got into television. In fact, where I grew up, Nashville, Tennessee, that's my hometown, I worked in radio in and around the Nashville radio market. And I've worked at some major country music and, well, not just country music, but just major um radio stations in the Nashville market, some of those were on Music Row. So I'm familiar with Music Row. I'm familiar with the music industry, the recording industry, radio, broadcasting. I mean, it's in my blood. It's in my DNA. It's it's who I am. You know, television and doing the weather, that's just another extension of that. Uh, This morning, I went on a little bit of a rant on Facebook, on my personal Facebook profile page. Because this morning, you know, out of curiosity, I sometimes just kind of change the channels on the radio. 
Um, I have Sirius XM. I've got, you know, I can listen to an, my iPod. I can, I can stream. I can do whatever I want. But sometimes I'll just like to hear what, what some of the radio stations are playing because that's, you know, it's still relevant. It's still there. And I happened to, to pick up a station out of Nashville. I won't say which one. But, and it's, a, you know, today's country. You know, okay. And a song came on by Jason Aldean. And, you know, I like Jason. This is not against him. I think it's just part of the Nashville uh, music scene today. And I know they're they're telling me, here's what you need to do. You need to do a, you know, kind of a rap country deal. The song is called Burning It Down. You know, it's, it's pure rap. There's no country there. I mean, they'll throw in a, hey, let's throw in a little steel guitar here while while it's, you know, and I'm like, what in the crap is this? I mean, I don't know. Now, now don't get me wrong, and, you know, some are going to call me naive because, you can easily make the argument that back in the 70s, country music went through a trend where they tried to work in disco, you know. And yes, you're right. In the 80s, they threw in all the tech, techno keyboards and tried to make it sound 80s, techno pop. Yes, you would be right. 90s, the same thing, you know, the uh, the grunge. and You know, I mean, country has always look to pop music and rock music to 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 help bring in younger demos and things like that. I get it. I know how the business works. But I, the problem I have with some of this that's called country now is it's lost its heart. There's no craft in the music. There's no craft in the songwriting or the producing or the the playing, it's all just manufactured and let's get it in, get it out. Digital, let's just throw it together. I can do it at my house. You know, instead of bringing in qualified studio musicians and qualified songwriters and talking about relevant stuff, I mean, the, I get it. You know, the songs talk about, hey, girl, and the truck, and, you know, the. Hey, uh, here's uh, you know, let's go for a drink, and you know, and then somebody could say, well, the argument is back in the '70s and '80s, the, every song was about lying, cheating, drinking, doing, and <laughs> you, and yes, but there was a sense of um, you understood that that person was going through some pain, and it made you feel like you could identify with what they're singing about. And then there were songs about hard work and, you know, doing things right. And I don't know. I just feel like it's just kind of lost its, its heart. So anyway, when you read that, that's where I'm coming from. I kind of thought about doing my own um, podcast, a separate podcast that would just be music oriented. So working on that, see what's going to happen. Maybe do that here in a few weeks. So be watching for that, just in case. All right, there you go. There you have it. This morning's podcast. God bless as always, and thank you for listening. Know the weather before it knows you. Have a great day. I'll see you live at 5.30 on AM Kentucky and streaming live to the WBKO app and to WBKO.com.